Hey guys, I don't like usually doing second takes, but a salesperson just called me and I decided to look at the number and I thought it was an employee, so I thought, eh, I better grab it. And it wasn't, it was a salesperson. And that's okay, because I'm a salesperson, I believe we all are. So we're gonna start over with a second take. Um, had a really, I don't want to say unique experience today because um, it certainly wasn't unique, but it was one of those moments that made me think and made me so freaking proud of how far I've come in my life. Um, and I had to take the moment to share because as I thought to this experience and as I thought to how I handled it, it also made me recognize how many times throughout the years when I was in a very anxious um, state that I would put my body and my mind and my emotions through some really tough things by how I received information. So here's a sitch. Um, I took a call today and the person on the other line was extremely fired up. Um, when I say extremely fired up, you all know these moments, right? And of course, it was directed right at me, and that's okay. Clearly, they um, were having a bad day. We all know the old saying, right? Um, like how other people treat us says more about them than it does about us. And fact of the matter is, is I know that I've, um, I've had enough life through my life that people don't know what we're going through. Like, I don't know the kind of day this person was having. I don't know what is going on in their family or their health or whatever else. Um, they clearly just needed someone to take it out on and I was the receiver of that. So that'll be what it is. But it really reminded me of some of the things I learned throughout the years on communication and how I receive information because I can tell you um, for a lot of years in my life, especially my, no, I can't even say especially, just a lot of years in my life, I would receive information and I would either take it personally and beat myself up, which was horrible on my part, to do that to myself for as long as I did, um, or I would receive the information and respond in a certain way and then rethink how I did it, wondering, did I respond to that accurately? Should I have done this instead of that? Should I have maybe considered this instead of this? Again, not healthy for the mind because generally speaking, our gut and our intuition and how we handle things, certainly we can learn from them and handle them differently when appropriate, but often we handled it exactly the way we should and that's okay. Um, or worse, you guys, I, and I didn't do it often because I've often practiced more patience and then internally beat myself up was usually my number one. Um, but there was a couple times throughout my years that when someone was verbally attacking me, I would get fired up. And it didn't happen often. Um, generally, it was the people closest to me because, of course, those are the ones that I hit our heart most, right? Um, in this moment, I could have easily defended the situation because um, I certainly knew my truth and I certainly knew the truth of the situation from my perspective. Um, but we'll come back to that one. So look at how you handle situations when, you know, when someone's coming at you and they're and you're receiving information and maybe you don't agree with it. Um, maybe you see it from a different perspective. How are you handling that? And is it empowering you? Or is it disempowering you? And if it's disempowering you, there are some things that you can genuinely do to flip the script and just make sure that you're um, being mindful, of course, of the information that's being received, but also being mind mindful of yourself and your health and your best interest, because that's extremely important as well. So a couple tips of what I've learned <clears throat> that what I do in these situations now um, that I wish I would have known 20 years ago, because it certainly would have changed a lot of tra trajectories. But in hindsight, nonetheless, um, I wouldn't be where I am today had I not lived all those experiences. So what's well, meant to be is meant to be, right? Um, first, guys, I recommend, and I did certainly did it again today, is when someone is giving you information, 
just mind your composure and mind your own patience and just mind in your head, be grateful for that person because we don't know what they're going through. And I am certainly grateful for this person in my life and it will keep you calm. At least it keeps me calm. When I'm being grateful for a person, it is really hard to get frustrated or angry or upset when they're having a tough moment because I'm very grateful for them in my life. Um, second, ask yourself, is what's being given, is it true? Is it accurate? Is it factual? Because if it's not true and accurate, you can easily decipher. I knew the situation and how the situation started and the conversations that were had. So it was super easy for me to decipher to say, in my head, I didn't say it out loud because it would not have helped the situation. But in my head, I was thinking, you don't know the conversations that were had. Um, again, I just let this person get off their chest what they needed to. But in my head, I knew it was true. I knew it was accurate. Um, and I didn't take it personally. And then thirdly, what I tend to handle, um, do is when mistakes are made or when ownership needs to be redirected, um, I do twofold. I tend to take ownership even when probably I shouldn't um, because I tend to find that um, it's better that way if we just say, well, I'll own it because it's not going to do any good for us trying to argue ownership. What good does that do? Um, but sometimes we just have to say what lesson was learned and what can we learn from it and what can we do moving forward to ensure that this doesn't happen again because ultimately we can't change the situation, right? All we can do is say, here's what happened, here's what we learned, and here's what we're gonna do further to make sure that the same situation doesn't happen again. Um, guys, it works. You know, it It may be, maybe it for me was a matter of just learning better communication skills. <clears throat> Throughout the years, it certainly has impacted uh, my better health and my better well-being as I've moved forward in handling conversations like that and not, you know, it's interesting and it's pretty cool now that I'm, um, as I was driving home, it really hit me hard like, wow, I would have in the past, probably 10 years ago, maybe even five years ago, perhaps even four years ago in a couple moments, um, would have cried because I would have completely beat myself up. Like, oh, you, I would have called myself some really bad names, which I won't repeat, hence why I stopped myself. Um, and I would have internalized it. And, or I would have handled it in a certain way as I lose my necklace and then questioned and re-questioned for probably the next three or four days to say, oh, maybe I should have done this or oh, maybe I should have done that. Again, not healthy for us. So when you're receiving tough information, keep in mind as true as accurate, um, put in perspective of here's what I can learn from it, here's what I can do differently next time. And when you have feedback to give back, wait. I have feedback from the conversation and a follow-up conversation that will need to be had because there's certain ways that we address things and there's certain ways that we don't. Um, but you got to wait. Sometimes you just have to wait and let people cool off a little bit so that you can re-engage that conversation and say together, here's how we can make this situation better for moving forward. So there's my tips. Communication. Um, guys, don't take it personally because you know what? Life is truly a journey. And if there's one thing that I've learned more than anything else throughout my journey of 42 years is sometimes we just got to lighten up. Um, and lightening up for me is shit, being able to come home and sitting on my living room carpet and turn on a video and not really have a worry about how um, I'm on video and I'm going to put it on YouTube and who's going to see it and what are they going to say? Because if you don't like me, hit off and then unsubscribe because that's totally okay with me. And if you do, and if the information's helping, pass it along so that we can help make a difference and we can help end loneliness and we can help other people who have those moments in their heart that feels like their whole body's gonna explode and they can't control themselves. No one, you guys, no one deserves to feel that way. So help me get it out there 
and we'll talk to you again. If there's ever any specific tips that you want to hear about or see more of, um, drop me a line, drop me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. You're going to start hearing from more from me as we keep moving forward. Um, keep an eye out on my um, Instagram and my Facebook. I'm thinking about doing the daily tips of the day to help as well. But nonetheless, leave me a line. What do you want to hear more of? What do you want to hear less of? Um, what could be helpful for you in your life as you're taking this journey of growth and development and strength because you're amazing the way you are today. And if you want to grow um, and you want to look forward to what's to come, I'm here to help with that too. So love you guys. Stay well.